Hello guys, today we're going to talk about this thermostat. This is the Lux TX9600TS. And this thermostat works with the three wire uh, White Rogers zone valves. Uh, as you know, there are not many thermostats, but this one works very well. Uh, in my other videos, I show you uh, a, a Honeywell that used to work, but not anymore. This Honeywell, the T2, uh, used to work, but now I bought new ones and I tried to use them and they don't connect. So uh, I don't know if it's the new batch that does it, and they all do, but um, I had to get another one. So I found these Lux that works very, very well. So this is a thermostat. You can buy it at Lowe's and it's, it has a very nice blue backlight. Uh, again, this is the Lux TX9600 touchscreen TS, and it's programmable. And um, look at that. Very nice, big numbers, nice blue color, easy to go up and down. And at the end of the video, later on, I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the programmable stuff. So it's simple thermostat. So remember, uh, this thermostat you need a thermostat that is a single pole double throw. So when, uh, remember, uh, the red one is always hot. When you call for heat, the red five and the white four makes and turn the valve on. And when you turn it off, uh, when it's the temperature is satisfied, the red and the green are gonna make. So at all the times, whether it's on or, or off, your thermostat is going to make either with the white or with the green. With the white to open the valve and with the green to close the valve. So the red wire is going to go to RH, that's number 5 in your valve. And the uh, number 6 from your valve, the green wire is going to be connected to A. And the number 4 is going to be connected to W. Basically, this is what we're doing. The red wire, number 5, is going to be to our heat, our H, the green wire number six is gonna go to the A, and the white number four is gonna be to W1. R H, A, and R H, A, and W1. So remember, this is a uh, single pole double throw thermostat that means that um when it calls for heat a switch makes and another switch disengages and when you when the thermostat is satisfied it it uh, makes with another wire which it will be number six the green one and it disengages the white so it always do two things whether it's calling for heat or is or the temperature is satisfied Okay, so now let me show you uh, that it works. Uh, so the temperature in the room is 72. So we have to call for heat. So let's do 74, 76. Uh, now the thermostat is gonna click. Did you hear that? Now it's telling me that it's turning on. So this is our 1311 White Rogers. If you see this dial, is turning, is turning to the left uh, counterclockwise, and now you see the red, that red dot, that red paint. Uh, that uh, when you have that red, that means it's open, it's opening the valve. Do you read that open? So it should stop right there. It stops. So we have now water the valve is open and water is passing passing through that pipe and now let's now let's uh satisfy the temperature let's put it to 68 and wait for the click there you go and now the, and now the valve is going to go from red open to close 
and now it's gonna close it's gonna close the flow it's gonna shut off the flow of the water through the apartment through the sound valve and it takes about 20 seconds and can you read the word close it's gonna close the valve and it should stop there say the valve is the, the valve is bad or the thermostat is bad and it's late at night and you need to give them heat what you're gonna do you disconnect the number six disconnect it because uh, that's gonna close the valve when it satisfies the temperature so we want to avoid that if the temp if the thermostat of the valve doesn't work you can force it open and the motor is gonna open it automatically so just push with your hand a little bit and that's activate is going to activate the motor to open the valve and if you uh, see that it's closing it's opening the valve uh, it's bypassing the thermostat so that way you can have heat and then you can buy a new valve or a new thermostat and then um, what's important here though is to disconnect there you go you see the red for open uh, what, what's important here is that you have to remove the green wire that's the close uh, the, the wire that closes the valve uh, if you don't uh, remove it when it satisfies the temperature it's going to shut off and then you're going to be without heat again so um, so this is um, right now it's just going all the way back where it was because I didn't disconnect the green and, uh, wire for the and my thermostat is working so but just, is just that tip nonsense. that you could do it then buy uh, the parts and then uh, fix it next day it's or, way confusing or for the day. tenant and we get a lot of calls so this about is thermostat. Um, so on this one you can activate all that so what you're going to uh, do for the is you're going to uh, remove the front that and in the back of your thermostat uh, more. So this is the back of the thermostat. There's eight switches. And switch number two, it says manual or programmable. You're going to move switch number two to the left to manual. That way uh, it erases, uh, it jumps all those five days programmable. So there you have it guys, LUX TX9600TS, beautiful thermostat, blue backlight, it works with the 1311-102, uh, very easy to use, you can remove the programmable stuff, so it's a simple heat only thermostat, so... Um, Yes, it works. So uh, if you like this video, uh, please uh, like it, subscribe if, you, if it was beneficial to you. Uh, please uh, give, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I remind you that I have three more videos on this White Rogers 1311 that I'm going to put uh, up here at the end of this video. So that's it. Thank you so much and see you next time.